Hello everybody, it's Richard Dudless and I'm bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. This time I'm only level 12 while I'm playing and with the start this game has, you'll probably be surprised it's an upload but I was using the no skill package which basically does what it says on the tin. It requires no skill to get and you're guaranteed to get something that's normally guaranteed to get something that's stupidly good. In the case of this game, first one's a Pavlo and then it's an Attack Chopper and Attack Chopper, I think. I'm pretty sure. No, is it Pavlo Attack Chopper I get? And a Predator Missile, but I also get my Predator Missile and Attack Chopper normally as well, a couple of times. But yeah, the start of this game is absolutely bollocks. I was very surprised how it ended up. I think nearly all my deaths are in this first few minutes of this game. This team was not amazingly good, but they just kept camping at this sniper here that I kept missing. And I'm a, I have a huge habit of revenge killing people over and over again when they kill me in stupid places. And here I was just messing around with a throwing knife. That's just what I determined. I'd use it for one game and one game only, and I was determined to at least get killed. And I knew there was always someone in that corner of that ridge, but yeah. Um, the, other th the main thing I really wanted to talk about was not the gameplay because it kind of speaks for itself. I'm using the stupid overpowered ACR, which basically tells you how easy it is to play with this gun. When you level 12, you can get gameplays like this once it gets going. There's a stupid sniper again, but yeah. Um, I just, the live streams that I started doing, I'm definitely enjoying more than actual just trying for gameplays. I get gameplays while I'm doing it which is even more fun and I can basically upload it straight from Twitch where I, where I live stream straight to YouTube if I really wanted to and have a two hour live stream session could have been for about 20 videos I think it is. I've got them uploaded straight here. I think it will upload a 10 minute video every day or something like that which I might do because I'm going on holiday in a week time for a week so I might set that up to auto upload every day yeah I'm very lucky to live through some of this bit at the minute I don't know how I manage it but yeah as I was saying the live streams will definitely I'll be definitely doing another one later tonight after this is uploaded probably 10 p.m. GMT half nine ish it's normally about then when me and my friend jump on either Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops or something like that and it's generally a good last thing we get with the first no skill package and then I get started again and camping little bastards. I can understand people camping with sniper rifles, it does take a little bit of skill to be able to run around with them. I was doing it on a live stream the other night and my actually were terrible the first few times and then the last few games of the night I managed to pull out some 3 KDs and 2 KDs but I was playing a bit more defensively in them but it's not really that hard on this sort of game to run around with a sniper rifle it does require a little bit of skill but it's not impossible the aim assist you get with a sniper rifle is stupidly good and that's why I'm looking forward to Black Ops a bit more where there's no aim assist whatsoever with a sniper rifle it would be basically like playing with a sniper on a PC, but on a console. So that should be a bit more challenging than actually see who's got the skill and who's just got the luck of the game. <laughs> I'm sorry for the coughing that I keep, but keep happening. I seem to have got stuck with a cold that I've had for a while now. And it just doesn't seem to want to go away. Hopefully I'll be back to normal again before I go on holiday, because that be annoying going on holiday with this stinking cold. But yeah, this, this Pavlo does exactly what Pavlo normally does on these sort of games. It absolutely rapes ass. I think it gets you about 12 kills, not stupid like that. But it's another camping sniper. You'll notice I keep changing weapons accidentally in this. I don't know what it was. This was on my old controller that I replaced probably a month ago now. That's how old the game is what you're watching now but the buttons seem to be a bit dodgy I could press the right thumbstick which I normally use to knife and it will change weapons randomly and stuff like that I, I've never seen a point of playing on tactical on the game that is because the amount of people that panic knife you is insane so I'd rather be able to panic knife them back than be able to drop shot which I never normally do because I absolutely hate people that drop shot and try hard like that 
It just drives me nuts. There's no need. It's a game. You meant to play it for fun. And it's named in that classic but Just to take the piss out of people. <coughs> um, hopefully this will be the last game you see me upload using the ACR because it's probably one of the most overpowered guns on this game with how much damage it does and how accurate it is. Hopefully with Black Ops they'll rebalance the guns a bit better so the high damage guns have silly recoil and the low damage guns don't have quite as much recoil. So it'll be a bit more fair on all the guns, they'll all be just about as good as each other. But I can't really see that happening unless they really are going to listen to the whole community and make that game absolutely amazing like most people hope it will be. I'm not going to say it's going to be great. Oh look at that, I love it. Bastard death, that stupid sniper that keeps going back there. But he dies a lot in the end. I'm pretty sure nearly all their team go negative. But this is a lot more aggressive you'll see from me than the last gameplay uploaded on this map with the ACR. Wow, it's a little bit more campy. But again, it's all down to how bad the enemy teams are. If the teams are absolutely crap, you can rush them a bit more than if they're pretty good. Um, the reason I've got Assassin so level is because I unlock it. I unlocked it with one of my first four prestige tokens I got from my own prestige of the games. And I got a few extra prestige tokens to get in the hardened edition. But it's, I wouldn't have to use it so much if people weren't using stupid portal radars and heartbeat sensors and stuff like that that really shouldn't be the game. There's really no need. You can tell where people are going to spawn, you can tell which routes people take out of the spawn. Um, it's such easy games to play, there's no need to use such silly tactics as that or have even have them in a game. It's not like people with Ghost on Black Ops are much of an issue. After you've, after you've played Modern Warfare 3, Ghost users on Black Ops are so easy to handle. As I tried, or we tried Black Ops for the first time in the other night when I was live streaming, and I think first game in, I went something like 44 and I think it was in a TDM. I was using the oh, mouse head, so using it, using it won't be uploaded. It was just a form up game to see how good I was still at the game. It was probably the only reason why I went to a good first game. But after that, I was, I was running low kill speed in that game as well. I think it was 3 4 5 um, UAV count, UAV, and Napalm Strike just to warm up, so I knew I was going to get kill streaks. And after that, I switched it back into my normal one which is Napalm Strike Blackbird Dogs or Napalm Strike Blackbird Chopper depending on the map and it was just so easy all night long it really is such an easy game to play anyway that's the end of the game and I shall see you later on tonight if you can watch a live stream I shall announce on Twitter which I'll put the links to both of in my in the description and I'll be back soon with another video hopefully if not it'll be the live stream uploading where you'll just see me playing off the bat. Anyway, bye.